out quick, okay? And then we're just gonna count three nines. So we've got one nine degree angle there, we've got a nine here. Okay, so this one, if we're back in here, we don't wanna be back, back like this, you can feel that kind of pull back in from the tricep. So up in this position is pretty good. And then if our elbow's down, we throw like this, that's really hard on the shoulder, shoulder as well as elbow. We want to make sure that's in a right angle as well. And then this one here, we ready to do one of two things. We can either have it this way, in the 90 degree here. And that's why I mentioned that earlier when we were with the gloves. Like we got to make sure that the glove is in a good position because if you throw and your glove just goes like that, you throw and you lost all your power on the front side. We want to make sure we use all the power. Okay? So three nines, one, two. Three right here, or you can go opposite. So opposites looks like this. This one's down, this one's up. Everybody see that? You can go that way. And it's interesting as you go through your career coaching and playing and, and different things I've changed from. And I've always kind of gone this way. But now I'm I'm instructing teach the players to go this way, opposite. Okay? And the reason for that is because when I go forward to throw, the back of the glove is going to come to the chest, okay? And if you notice, the chest goes to the glove. The glove doesn't come this way, okay, if it's opposite, it doesn't go up to the chest. The chest goes to the glove. You can see in that abs, the abs right here, these muscles are really important on the fishing side as well, okay? So, just on the stride part, we want to make sure that stride is straight down, okay? So if you have a line in front of you, try and work down a line, a white line there, a green line there, black line. So then you can see where you're at here. Because if we do this, and step over here, and throw across our body, that just cuts our arm off, okay? There's no way to throw with the same velocity we would if we went straight here. And the other, probably the bigger one I've seen young players, is that they step out this way. So when I step out this way, now everything drops and I push. And, and I'm not, it's not a very strong position here. So we want to make sure that we stride this toe, this toe, this toe, there in a straight line here. And if you know if this is open, okay, into that position there, it's like around 45. It's whatever's comfortable for you, okay? Some might even be a little more like that. But what it can't be is if you can feel that right in this area, that doesn't feel good. Okay? So get in a good good position here. And then once you throw, just put your hands like that. That's good. Okay? So all the drill is you're gonna go one, you're gonna count on yourself. One, two, three, or three. You're gonna rock back, throw. Okay? Now, one really critical point on this. When, when you go to throw here, we want to make sure laces go to the ground. See my laces, how they're touching the ground now? So I want to be in that position when I throw. Because when we go to pitch, okay, and we get like this, when my body says, I'm going, my hip has to do this. Okay? Got to get in that position. We can't pitch back here to throw. We need to get into that position right there. And there's lots of good reasons for it, but most of it's velocity again. And when I get into this position here with my leg, that's kinetic energy. Okay? So kinetic energy right from the ground force up through the leg and the torso, arm, to the ball. Okay? So the drill, one, two, three, or three, rock back, throw. Let's try to follow the slides. And all we're doing is this, just knee to knee. And the reason I say knee to knee is a slide step is you just go down the mound this way and throw. But if you give up a bunch of velocity, speed, by being put to the plate here, you gotta get it over the bench, it doesn't really help you. Okay? So we gotta make sure we always throw a good fastball. And this allows you to get your weight on the back leg. Okay, so now we're in this into here, bending, okay? And if you notice, when I do this, I lead with the heel.
because it's really important that we keep the hips closed as long as we can. Okay? We open, once we open up the hips, my weight energy has gone to the front. Where are we strong at? On the back leg? You back. So you want to be on the back leg. This is your strong leg. Okay? So she's going to be right here. She's going to go knee to knee, lead with the heel, and then you're going to open it at the last second here. But if you notice, when I do this, when that strikes, my weight's still on the back leg. Probably like at least 80%. Okay? So even though that's hit the ground, that's my cue, let's go. Okay, so that ball's got to be ready, hand's got to be ready, build with the little great ball. Okay? So without throwing the ball, just try that right now. Just do that knee to knee. Go. And the lefty can do that too. Add them in the movie here. Grab the point, okay? So the two moves here. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go three toe touches. We're gonna go one, back down. And we need to be in good control of our body. So it's not one, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. Lead with the heel. And now we're back into our good throwing position again. Okay? So, you see the front part of me goes right here because that's what I always did as a pitcher. That's what I didn't do this way. If you guys are young enough, you can go this way right at the top, you can do the opposite. Okay? So, one of the reasons why I went this way, the guy that I used to coach, Vince Horseman, who played for the Oakland Athletic Ben Pro, he always liked the fact that he loved to hit. Okay? So there's nothing wrong with that. You see a lot of you guys in the big leagues, they're going, okay? So it's, they're both correct. There's a lot more guys doing it the other way now. <clears throat> okay, so let's just try that. Don't throw the ball. Good control of the body. One, touch. Two, touch. Three, down, out. And now we're ready to get into the control. Okay, second drill. So what we're going to do uh, first is we're just going to learn to pick up the leg. Because you see a lot of young pitchers doing this. See my foot? Or that, or that, back up here. All these crazy things. And that doesn't mean you picked up, picked up your foot properly. Okay? That means you actually lifted with the foot. You do that. Okay? So we want to use the quad, and when we lift, legs right there, okay? Foot hangs straight down from the knee. You guys do that? Let's try that right now. Lift, allow us to engage and get that kinetic energy out of the leg. So when we sit, it's going to look like this, okay? So I'm down in this position here. This leg is straight up and down. This is my rubber. It's straight up and down here. I'm not I'm sitting like this, right over top of it, and I'm in a sit position right here. Okay? This allows me to maximize the strength out of my back leg and get that kinetic energy out when I drive the play. Okay? So we want to pitch up here. We want to get into this. And if you notice, I come back with my leg here into this position, and I'm in a nice sit position here. Okay? Can everybody just try that? It's kind of a painful position because it really burns your back leg. Okay? If you're doing it, if you're sitting here, get a little lower, so it's just going to be up, down, out, throw. Okay? Make sure when we do, when we do this, watch my back foot, face it down. Okay? It's a little harder if you don't have a mouth here. Like Anyhow, you gotta get those laces down to the ground. Okay? So just go with momentum. We're just gonna get it up, down. Okay, so up, down, heel, and then control position. Here we go. Okay? okay make sure that ball is out of your glove in a good throwing position. Okay? Arm can be late, ever. Okay? So it's ready to roll. Good? Okay. 
cut. But if you've got a smaller hand, okay, you can go, um, we're just gonna go right here. Just split it with your fingers and put the thumb on that inside seam right there. Okay, you get it deeper in your hand, right there. So it's gonna be kind of like a split, that just finger on the, on the seam. So you don't want, on a fastball, you'd always have thumb right underneath, right? Four seam, thumbs right underneath. But on this one, we're just gonna split right here with the fingers, and we're just gonna have it on the side right there. If you've got a smaller hand, if you can't, can't do this one because you need a bigger hand for that, longer fingers. So when we do this pitch, you're gonna throw it, and we, a changeup isn't, here's my fastball, here's my changeup. Okay, just hitters pick that up. So we want the fastball there, arm speed, changeup is also, you hear that whip on both of them? So it's the same on both. But because you've got deeper in your hand, and if you're doing this one, you're gonna turn, again, pronate, but you want that thumb to go point down. Okay? You gotta have the thumb pointing down. That way you'll get that roll on the ball and it will go like that. Okay? So the big thing for you is that you have a change up that is different from your fastball speech. Okay? It's gonna be a little bit slower, but everything's gonna look the same on the hand. The batter's not gonna be able to tell until the ball gets there and he's like this and then the ball's just going across the plate. Okay? So on that, it's really important that the thumb is down. Okay? If you're doing that one. If you're throwing this one, just on the side right here, it's not gonna be that way. You're just gonna throw it as hard as you can. We'll see what type of action you get on the ball. But again, you can still roll it this one, right? Turn it that way. Other one, thumb down. We good? Let's try it. Okay, okay,